Hello there guys, today Apple has released iOS 11.0.1 and it's available for all iOS devices so I just wanted to talk about one on the iPad because I've seen with the iPad there was quite a lot of bugs and the main bugs that I encountered was if you're on an app you know, by half, well, it just randomly suddenly um, just closed down so it'll just uh, crash out of nowhere basically and then um, I've seen battery life wasn't so good as well when I updated it the battery was going really quick so I'm hoping with this new update that it improves it I've, up the, I've updated the iPhone 5s just a while ago and it's going well so far and all the other iPhones as well they'll be getting updated but I've just released a video for that one so you guys can see that but um, on the soft, when you go to software, they normally have quite a lot of information of what they've done or what they haven't done. So here, you can see all it says is includes bug fixes and improvements for your iPhone or iPad, and it's 275.1 MB. So some files are bigger than the other. I've seen on the iPhone 8, it was 280 something. So I am really, I'm just hoping on this one they do fix the issue with battery and the crashes so you just gotta agree with the new terms and conditions so yeah so I'm just basically this should be fixing all the bugs that the new update came with and it should have some improvements so the main thing that it should be fixing for uh, well bug wise is the lack of um, battery it will be with the crashes it will sometimes just hang it'll have um, so the apps would crash as well so things like that so hopefully they should fix all this because obviously it's been only a week since iOS 11 came out so they've already got out a new one so that's really good of them to do it quite quick so this one's getting updated quite quickly and I'm really hoping that the battery gets fixed as well because the battery went really quickly last I had to charge it twice so I'm hoping this time it actually fixes that problem um, I was gonna do a little geek pinch but I don't think so if I show you guys I don't think I've got any, no, so I'll quickly run one, see if I can do it and show you guys what the score is at the moment and then compare it with iOS 11.0.1 so hopefully it shouldn't take too long for this to be completed Invincible. So here's the score with uh, iOS 11 so it's uh, 1,763 for single score and then for multi-core you've got 4,247 so let's see if there's any improvement when it's updated so it's still updating so it's doing the same thing again because you can see that this is not moving anymore so that stopped so I'm just waiting for some for it to restart and then it'll start updating so um, if you did want to get more information there isn't really much because um, I did press that one before on the iPhone 5s and all it did all it said was how to update to iOS 11.0.1 so um, the only information here you've got is literally just that it's the bug fixes and improvements and it does have quite a lot of bugs on the iPad how anyway because on my iPhone 5 S it didn't really have much it was just the camera surprisingly and other so other f iPhones they've had more but with my iPad however I've got quite a lot of the battery issue it would crash so things like that really so hopefully this should improve it so the iPad's just been updated so you can see here so I just have to enter the pin And there you go. 
so uh, visual wise there isn't really much of a difference <laughs> no because all the other thing looks the same but it has been updated now which is good so I'll just show you guys there you guys 11.0.1 so I'm hoping battery wise it should be a lot better and obviously crash wise it just happens so I can't really expect to have one but you never know so I'm just going to quickly do another test so if I go to history and show you guys this is what it was first 1763 4247 so that was a CPU so if I do another one now let's see what the difference is since they have said it's an improvement now so hopefully it should be a better number so we'll find out in three minutes so here is the score so it's uh, 1817 for single core score and then you got 4358 for the multi so if I go on history see this one so it was on 1763 so that's an improvement 1763 and 1817 4274 for multi-score 43 so it's an improvement there so that's always good so they have made it a bit more faster than score wise so you can see it's on 11.0.1 but crashing wise that is going to take some time because I will need to find out if it does or not so I'll probably be posting a little review about the iOS 11.0.1 later in the week see how it goes but other than that that's the bug fixes and the improvements with this update and hopefully everything should go well and I'm really hoping the battery is better this time thank you for watching please like share and subscribe Thank you.